Hey everyone, welcome to another Adobe Photoshop tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to animate text to add a glowing effect to it. This is incredibly simple to do, but it adds a great touch and is just really great for that effect. So let's get started. Right, so the first thing you want to do is you want to go and open up Adobe Photoshop. Now that that's loaded, press File, New or Control N. Um, make it whatever size you want. I'm going to do 500 by hmm, 150. Um, and click OK or press Enter. I'm going to add a gradient as a background first, uh, whatever gradient you want. Uh, hold down on Shift, drag it down, and drop. Um, and there's our gradient. Um, and now I'm going to add some text, because this is the text that we want to be glowing. So select the font you want. I'm going to choose Swatch It. Uh, Select the font size you want, Ooh, too small, uh, perfect, um, and type away, so glowing text, um, uh, you can align it however you want, I'm going to make it in the centre, or try at least, and uh, centrally align it, um, and now I'm going to double click on uh, that layer, and I'm going to go for an outer glow, um, and the outer glow is really the glowing effect. Um, Opacity, push it up to 100, that's what I like to do anyway, you can do whatever you want and you can play around. Select the colour as white, um, size as I'm going to go for, oh that's a bit too much, uh, I'm going to go for 8. And if you select precise it will be it will be a lot more precise and it won't look as glowy effect, but obviously you can experiment with this sort of thing. So I'm going to change the size back to uh, 8. 8 looks good. So once you're happy you click OK. Now we want to go to Windows and you want to go down to Animation. Click it, and this should appear at the bottom. Um, as you can see, we've got one there so far. Um, and now you want to go and you want to click this, which is a new animation frame. Um, and on and when it's highlighted on the second animation frame, you want to go to opacity, 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 however you want to say it. And you want to select it as 10. Ooh, it's gone to 9, 10. Um, there we go. So that's on the second animation frame. So as you can see, there's a difference. And now you want to click this which is the tween, um, this is the frames you want, so 10, obviously the higher you get, the more detail you're going to have, um, so frames to add, I'm going to add 10, um, and as you can see, it'll add 10 frames, and you press play, and you'll see it's going from one frame to the second, but it's got 10, 10 frames kind of framing it out, and you can see it going along, um, along the bottom, um, so there we go, that's how to make the animation, now for saving, you go to file, um, save as, I'm going to save it to the desktop, um, select desktop, um, I'm going to save it as animation, <coughs> sorry about that, um, and save it as GIF, I know, wait, um, oh gosh, I've done something wrong, I'm really sorry, um, sorry, cancel that, um, you go to, to save it, you go to file, save for web and devices, and this new box should pop up, save it as GIF, uh, select the kind of settings you want roughly um, for it um, and once you're happy with the settings for the quality press save uh, save it as a GIF and uh, make sure it's saved to the desktop or wherever you want it saved as uh, name it whatever you want I'm gonna name it animation and click save it should save and then that uh, web devices box should close you can save it as a PSD as well if you want uh, but you don't need to now you can open it up you've got to make sure to get it animated as you can see I didn't open it up in an animated supported program but uh, something like Firefox or Internet Explorer should be um, compatible so there you go you've got the animation thanks for watching guys more video tutorials coming up soon